Okay, so for my Halloween shirts, I'm going to do some stuff on the front and the back of the shirt. And this image here, sorry, this image here I got off designbundles.net. They had some dollar day deals and I got a few images off of there. Uh, this one here was sort of a mix that I put together myself. I found this part of the pumpkin on Cricut, but it had a cat head. And we have Scottish Terriers, so I wanted to put a Scottish Terrier head in there. So I made my own SVG and uh, put it on here. And then the original hat, the top of the pumpkin piece, didn't fit from the other one so I had to delete that part and then I just sort of made my own with half circles and um, then I welded it together this here is going to say Halloween mode with the game switch where you can turn it on and off and I added uh, this I found on Cricut design space and the pumpkin I added to it I can't remember if I got this off Cricut Design Space or the other place that I just mentioned. And then I still have another one here that I still have to pick out, which is going to go with the Halloween mode. So I'll do that part now. Okay, and this is the back side of the rest of it. And uh, this one is actually going to be sparkly iron-on. I thought I would try it for the first time, so we will see how that goes, and I hope it works. I found this tree off of Cricut Design Space, uh, but I embellished it a bit. I added some bats. I added the spider, and then I made this Scotty skeleton. Uh, made it into an SVG and uploaded it myself. It was very hard to do the picking part, so I hope that it will work okay. And uh, I will get the iron heated up now, the heat press, and hope that this is going to work. Okay, next up, let's heat press the... Halloween tree with the skeleton Scotty dog. I'm going to have to put this down just a teeny bit. So I heated it for five seconds. I've got my heat pressing mat underneath. I have lint rolled this. And I've never used the sparkly iron off. So let's see how this one goes. Okay, so I don't know. I guess I'll just kind of go like this for that corner. And I'll do the same thing for that other corner. And then I'll flip it over for 15 seconds. I really like the sparkly. It looks really good. It adds a little bit here. Okay, I hope it does because I like this one. Ooh, so sparkly. Uh oh, what did I just lose there? Part of the branch? It's amazing, because I hurt my thumb as you can tell, um, how much you use, I use my right hand thumb. It's a lot slower to do things without my thumb.
All right. I love it. I'm going to have to make one of these for myself. That's awesome. I really like that. I just was only able to get a bunch of extra small and small shirts, which can work for my daughter. So I'm making her all sorts of shirts, but um, it's like these ones are all on sale. So I was able to buy a whole bunch of shirts. So, but I'd like to get this one for myself. I really like that. It's very shiny, and my Scotty dog skeleton worked out nicely. And so did the tree. Yeah, I really like that. And the spider that I added worked out. Yeah, very nice. Well, I actually forgot that I had a second part to this shirt. But I just, it's too big to press the whole thing. So I had to have to do this in two separate things. And let's see if yeah I think that's gonna work right there so I'll show you what it looks like after okay there we go it would have been nice if I remembered that I had printed this part in the glitter but I think it still looks good I like it okay let's press my Scotty pumpkin now I think you guys have seen me doing this enough times now that you don't have to know all the steps. So I will come back on when I've done. I still have another portion to put underneath the Scotty again. So when I've done both portions, I will just show you the end result. Okay, this is how the final result. With my cute little Scotty pumpkin. And I added a boo to it because I want it to be more of a Halloween theme. So there you have it. Extra ideas for you guys. And to show you that it is possible to do it.